Weeks before the end of the school year, there are sudden changes of leadership at two Portland high schools. It is six o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Those changes at Wilson and Cleveland high schools come after some concerns. Our Lisa Balick digging deeper tonight, live at PPS headquarters with more. Lisa? Well, the administration here says it's not unusual to have changes in leadership, but there are a lot of questions surrounding this change in leadership at local high schools. At Wilson High, students say they don't know much about why the second principal so far this year suddenly left. Just days after school started last fall, the first principal suddenly didn't show up anymore, citing, quote, a recent lapse in judgment, but still no details. Vice Principal Maud Lamont was tapped to fill in, but now she's resigned. There are news reports of an investigation into inappropriate actions, but not involving students or staff. The district told me in a statement, quote, we are aware of the allegations and are taking appropriate steps to address them. It is a confidential personnel matter, so we're not able to discuss details. Many students told us they're not sure what's going on, but they'd like some stability. I'd just say maybe do better background checks. Try and hire someone you know is going to do a good job because we've lost two principals. The district had already planned to put the Roosevelt High School principal in at Wilson starting July 1st. Meanwhile, this afternoon over at Cleveland High, the principal, Aisha Freeman, wrote to parents that she'll be leaving in July, citing family reasons. This comes after staff reportedly sent a letter to the district with a vote of no confidence. Cleveland recently dealt with some hate symbols, including swastikas on Jewish student union flyers, a black face cake made in a cooking class and a noose. The district won't comment on camera about the principal departures, but did say with more than 80 schools in the district, change does happen. And in fact, the district told me they had 18 new principals last year. But again, there are questions surrounding these changes. We'll keep you posted as we find out more information. Live in North Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.